Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am looking at EB Synth. This is a download for Microsoft Windows or the Apple Mac. You just click download, start the download, unzip the file, start it, and then you'll have a little window like that, which is fantastic. Now, if you're used to EB Synth, then this will all seem very familiar, apart from the advanced section, which now has a couple of different options. We've also got use GPU and synthesis detail. Now, if you're going to be using this, then it's probably also a good idea to have some sort of video editor as well. I am going to be using HitFilm Express. Why? Because it's free. Uh, although at the moment they do have these offers on. So if you want to pay as much as £35, then you will get this pro keying composite option as well as all these other things, uh, which makes what I'm about to do a lot easier. But I'll also show you the way to do it for nothing when you're using HitFilm Express without any add-ons whatsoever. Now, the first thing to do is to get PNG sequence. Um, and I've just grabbed some stock video here from Pexels, just that face. So let's pop into HitFilm Express and we'll start to do some things. Now, HitFilm Express opens, start a new project, and we'll just use the default settings. That's absolutely fine. Once that opens, you can import your media, and I'm gonna import that green screen that I just downloaded there from Pexels. Fantastic. Now, I'll make a new composite shot out of this. I'm just gonna make it uh, 10 seconds long instead, a little bit shorter, and I'll call that green screen PNG because I'm going to be exporting this as PNG sequence. So you've got the default presets there, PNG sequence. I can export, export now, contents, and that will turn all of the frames in that video into PNGs. So I should have a few hundred in there and you can tell exactly how many by displaying as frames on there. So that goes zero, all the way up to 239. So if I have a look in here, I've got my exports directory there, green screen, and there are my 239 PNG images. Now, just for ease, I'm going to move this export directory into my EB synth directory that I've made. I've also made a subdirectory there for PNG sequences specifically for this purpose. So there they are. Okay, so I've moved those in there. And now I need to stylize each of those frames. So that's where Deep Dream Generator comes in. I've already done a couple, but I'll do one more now as well. That's frame 30. And then I've got frame 60 or 90 and frame 120. And let's do one more frame in here. So it's very easy. Upload image. Select one of the frames from your PNG sequence. I'll go for frame uh, 200 this time. That's her image 200. There she is smiling. And uh, you can pick any style, so I'll just go with a popular style. And uh, oh, let's go with the field there, a field. Fantastic. Right, now, while frame 200 is generating, I'm going to pop back into HitFilm and do some more things. Because the, uh, the EB Synth Beta has this mask option here. Um, but to be honest, I've tried using a mask and it seems to make very little difference and one thing I want to do is I want to cut out this green background and then have the EB synth woman over a different background so it all looks very weird so I'm gonna make another uh, composite shot for this just because I'm like that and again we'll make that exactly 10 seconds go fantastic and oh I'll just change the name on that just so I know what's going on here and this is green screen to matte Okay, fantastic. So we'll go back to the viewer and we've got our video there and we've got a few keying options. Now, if you did spend your 35 pounds or if you've got HitFilm Pro or if you've got another video editor with chroma key, fantastic, drag the chroma key on and you're done. Uh, you also need to add a luminance key at the end, but um, I haven't got this. Um, so I'm gonna use something different, which is the color difference key. Let's drag that effect onto here. Now, as you can see, the grain, is, the green has gone grainy. <laughs> um, so we'll just throw this minimum value up to uh, 0.9 instead. And that looks a whole lot better. Now, if you want to play with it a little bit more, then you've got another one down here, a matte cleaner. You can drag that effect on. And if I just do the show matte there, 
can see, you know, you can smooth it or feather it a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to smooth it a little bit, nine pixels. That's fantastic. And then the final effect here is a luminance key. Now that doesn't look like it's done anything at all, but I will just show you here. You put the checkerboard background on and you can see the background there is now transparent. I turn the luminance key off, it will come out as black. Now I'll just turn that threshold up a little bit more. 69, fantastic. Okay, so now we have a green screen mat and we'll use that in just a moment after we've created the EB synth video. But of course, in order to do that, we're gonna need all these frames. So there's frame 200 now. I'm gonna save this image off into my keyframes directory. And that is gonna be green screen keyframe 200. Fantastic. Now, the only problem with those when you do them through Deep Dream uh, Generator is that they are gonna be slightly smaller than your original video, which in this case was 1920 by 1080. Uh, you can um, rescale these in HitFilm Express if you want to. Uh, under the transform, you've got a scale there, so you know you can you can redo the scale. Um, but I'm just going to use Waifu 2x in this instance um, because it gives a, a much better quality when upscaling. So in my EB synth directory, I've got my keyframes. I'm just going to select all four keyframes there, put them into there, and into a new directory. I'll just have that called Green Screen Upscale. Now, I've got the uh, trans width and height there, 1920 by 1080, and I can turn the split size up a little bit, and I will just resize those now, and use the magic of time compression. Okay, so all of those have upscaled now. I don't need the originals, I'm just gonna take those out of their little directory and put them back into my original directory and get rid of that. Right, so back to EB Synth. Now we have everything ready. So we've got our keyframes. These are our keyframes. Now, because they are three digits, I'm just gonna rename these and put a zero in the front, which makes it a little bit easier for EB Synth to figure out that it goes above 90. And I'll drop that in there and that automatically creates a whole bunch of keyframes. Then I go to the PNG sequence and I do the same, drag that onto the video one, and there we go. So that's automatically filled in the stop, the keyframes, and got an output directory there, which will be this directory, the project directory there. So let's run all those and use the magic of time compression once again. Okay, so now that that sequence has finished, I can just import each of them back into HitFilm. Now I'm doing an image sequence here and I select that EB Synth folder and I'll do the first one which is out 60. I'll get that and I'll import the next one. Again, image sequence out 90. Import that one and the next one. I think you're getting the hang of this. Out 120. And the next one. Out 200. Okay, so now we've got all of those. We can just make another composite shot. We'll just duplicate that one for now and rename this as Green Screen 2. Whoops. EB Synth. Right, so now we've got EB2. Green Screen 2 EB Synth. We'll take that original media out and we'll put these in. So you've got 0, 60, 90, 120, and you can sort of see where these go. Whoops, apart from I have slightly messed it up as I need to match the frame rate. It's actually 23.976. Let's just match these. Whoops, properties. Properties, properties, 23, properties, 23. Okay, that's better. Okay, so now, pop these in. Okay, so now you can see these are all different lengths, but 
the first image there is basically where you want to go. So 60, you go to frame 60 and drag that one up and it locks in. Then 90, go down to frame 90 and that one locks in place and then 120 and that one locks in place. There we go. So now we have the entire sequence and because you've got these little overlaps here you can make it fade in a little bit more nicely. So page up and page down are the easy keys to go to different places. So they're going to start with an opacity of 100 and then by the end of that I'm going to drop down to zero and then repeat that same thing with each of these layers. And here I'm going to have the opacity keyed in as well. I'll drop that down to zero and sort of start it fading in from there. And then also for the penultimate layer, transform, I'll have the opacity at 100 there and have it drop off to zero about there. There we go, fantastic. Now, if you want to, you can make these smooth, just highlight the frames, select the convert to keyframes smooth, or if you want them as any other of these types here, smooth in, smooth out, or uh, you know, manual Bezier curves, then you, you can do all that. Anyway, let's have a, a quick look at those in the RAM preview. As you can see, it's got the first sequence, and then it will start to fade gently into the next one and continue doing its smooth fading across so that you can't quite see any of the super fast transitions. Have a quick look at that. There we go. All nicely fading in. And then if you want to export it, of course, you go over to your export PNG sequence and uh, YouTube 1080 export. Export now, contents, and away you go. Okay, so now that has finished exporting, we'll go back to the viewer again and we're going to create another composite shot of this green screen here. A composite shot and we're going to call this with matte. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our entire sequence there, but we're going to also take out the, the background which is where our green screen mat comes in handy. So we drop that in at the bottom, and as you can see, absolutely nothing has happened yet. So we need the set mat effect. We drop that onto the top one, and set mat source layer of the green screen mat, and the source is the luminance. Again, we can do the options checkerboard background to see what is going on there. So there you go. So now you have the background removed and the woman is changing her different styles. Obviously if you want to put a different background in there it's just a case of you know import media and uh, oh let's have a, a waterfall for example and we can put that in the background and there you go. There, there she is. Turn the audio down on that. Zip. Okay and there she is uh, with a little waterfall in the background. So there you go. All nice and easy. EV Synth, Hit Film Express, all free. Um, go and have a play. Enjoy. Rodent out.